this is what the, the Gemini, well, let's just call it the Gemini. So this is what the Gemini and what you can do with it. So I'm going to bring it a little bit closer just to make it easier. As I mentioned, you're going to get your power cable. You've got your on off switch and then you've got your power and your your power, your pause, your um, uh, start and your reverse on there. So just make sure the lights are lit up and then away you go. Right now, I'm going to have a go at a few different bits on here. So let's just cut some. Where are we going to start? Let's just cut some sentiment dies on here. So we should start it. So let's see what you can do with it. So I've got my plate, absolutely perfect. And then I can um, put my sentiment, uh, build up my plate combination to do some cutting. So I've got my original plate here. Then I've got a couple of layers of cardstock here and I've got a sentiment die. So I'm going to pop that on. Next, I need to put on my magnetic shim. Then I don't need my ma um, metal plate for this. I'm going to put my plastic shim on and I'm going to put my other cutting plate on as well. And then I'm going to offer that through my machine. So we take that through. Now, I've only put one thing through here, but if you wanted to, you could be putting so much more through your machine if that's what you want at, at one time. Because you've got that whole plate size, that would say nine by 12 and a half inches. You've got all of that there. Look at that, two layers, absolutely no problem whatsoever. You can be putting that through. Look at this. I've cut that sentiment without any problems. There we go. Let me just separate the two together. There we are. Look at that. Double birthday straight away. One pass of my die cutting machine. Absolutely brilliant. Now, what you also you can do is something that we've not really talked about yet with this, is you can be using your Gemini Junior plates in your machine. So I've got some of my Gemini Junior plates, same combination, two cutting um, plates. I've also got my plastic shim and my magnetic shim. Now you're also gonna get your magnetic, uh, your metal shim and your, plas uh, your rubber embossing, fold, um, embossing sheet as well. So let's have a look, if I wanted to use those, what I could be doing. So I'm gonna take my, um, uh, my cutting plate, I'm then gonna pop my rubber shim on, or my embossing shim, whichever you want to call it. I'm gonna put a piece of cardstock on. This is um, and a six by six uh, stencil. And you say, but why do you need a uh, die cutting machine for a stencil? What I'm going to do then is I'm going to drop out my magnetic shim because you, there aren't any occasions that you need your magnetic shim and your embossing mat. If you do that, your plate combination will be too big. And I'm going to offer it up. Now, remember when I had the big plates? I went that way. Because I'm using my junior, I'm going to offer them up to the width. Because what I want to do is I want to trigger the sensors inside this machine. And that's going to trigger the sensors and away it goes. Now, why would I want to do to use some smaller plates? Because that's gone through even quicker. Now, what we've done here, and can you see? Look at that. Oh, let me see if I can get it there. There you go. Look at that. We have got, you can see it better on that side, the perfect emboss. Hopefully you can pick, there we go, you can pick that up. I keep pressing out. So I've now used my stencils to do embossing with as well. So absolutely brilliant. We've had a lot of questions about using multimedia dies. So what I wanted to show you is how multimedia dies go through your die cutting machine as well. So I've got one here. And all I've done is I've taken a piece of mount board and I've popped a photograph on the top. A lovely photograph and I'm taking one of my multimedia dies and I'm going to lay that over the top of the photographs. So let me put a piece of tape on because I don't want it to move. So there we go. So we can pop that on to there. Now this is a slightly thicker die. So I'm going to take out my magnetic shim and I'm just going to go in with my plastic shim and my other clear plate. And we're gonna offer that up to the machine and we're gonna let that go. So just remember, you can play around with your plate combinations very, very easily. So we take that out and away you go. We can open that now. Look, look at that. Look at that. Now, if I take this out very carefully, 
Wow, look at that. I've now got a perfect jigsaw puzzle made up of all of my pieces. So I can put it together if I wanted to in a project like that, or I can take them separate and I can give it to someone to make up the puzzle. How much fun is that? There we go. So there's also um, double sided dies that you can put through your um, your Gemini, all your all your electronic um, Gemini machines so that you can be cutting out multiple elements all at once. Um, you can be cutting all your fabrics. You can be cutting everything out that you want to. But this is just a very, very quick overview of what you can do with your Gemini machine. We can cut these out twice as fast because we've got our double-sided dies and you can be making fantastic projects like this look at the different the different materials we've been using from miri card to our black card to you know our regular um card you know absolutely perfect and then i've got lots here with my jigsaw dies just to show you our multimedia dies absolutely fantastic i love these oh look at oh i like that i was about to say a piece had fallen out but it's here how brilliant is don't these look fun so much more fun than just a regular detail with all that extra detail on there look at this we've got the jigsaw on here and a repeat of it in a little packet there i absolutely love these and think that they are so much fun so this is your original gemini machine gemini by name gemini by nature it's our dual function machine it's the best powerful machine on the market it'll emboss it'll die cut all day long whatever you put through this it will work perfectly it's the perfect machine for every craft room